Birmingham's new mayor isn't a big fan of the barrier around the Confederate Mor Memorial. Yeah, Mayor-elect Randall Woodfin mentioned the monument after announcing his transition team today. WVTM 13's John Papke joins us from Lynn Park. John, could the wall be coming down? Well, Guy, Mayor-elect Woodfin said he's going to meet with community leaders to see if the monument should be removed. But if the century-old memorial must stay, he says he wants this 10-foot-tall wall taken down. A week after Birmingham voters picked him as their next mayor, Randall Woodfin is gearing up to take office. Today, he announced his transition team. The target is to have the best team at City Hall the city has ever seen. Seven weeks from his swearing in, we asked Woodfin about issues spearheaded by current mayor William Bell. The mayor-elect said he would support all projects which are in Birmingham's best interest. And the Confederate memorial barrier erected the week before the election? If this monument should be removed, let's remove it. Let's not necessarily cover it up and make it part of our continued conversation. So it's either going to stand and not be covered or it's going to be removed. Woodfin pledges a smoother relationship with city councilors. A couple of veteran councilors say they are looking forward to a clean slate with the mayor's office. I'm not looking for a lapdog mayor. That, that's, that, that's not what I'm looking for. And I hope he's not looking for a lapdog council, but one that works with him and, uh, and, and, and to challenge uh, for the best results. I believe it's a brand new day in Birmingham. I think that the citizens have spoken clearly. They don't like us bickering, and it would behoove all of us to work together. When asked about department heads like Police Chief A.C. Roper, Woodfin said he will evaluate each of them once he takes office. Now, Birmingham has been operating off last year's budget since June, and it looks like that's going to continue at least until December. Lashunda Scales says they will likely not pass the 2018 budget until Woodfin takes office, which does not happen until the end of November. Reporting live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.